Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to day number 15 of 66 days of data with Nime, our daily live stream challenge where 66 days in a row we take a look at data science from zero to hero using the fantastic Nime analytics platform. And today is all about histograms. We talked about histograms yesterday already and the day before. So we applied it in Nime yesterday for the first time. And if you missed that video, I'll link it up above here. Today, we are going to create more histograms. And when I say more histograms, I mean really more like 10 plus. So let's quickly have a look at today's task over at the screen. And then we start working together in Nime. All right. So let's switch to the screen. Here we are. And let's just have a look at today's task. So we're here in that data exploration in 66 data of days of data with Nime page that is linked, the very first link in the description down below. And let's just look where we are. We are in histograms and we are in day number 15. So today's task reads very small, but I guess it's a little bit of a longer task, so to say, because we need to build histograms with histogram nodes for the other features as well. If you remember yesterday, we built a histogram for loudness, evaluated why quantile bins are probably not the best solution. And if you have missed out what bins are, have a look at video number 13, where we talk a little bit about the theory of um, histograms. Today, we are going to build histograms nodes for the other features like liveness, valence, instrumentalness, danceability, tempo, energy, speechiness, acousticness, popularity, key, loudness, and duration. So without further ado, let's just do this and switch over to Nine. And what I basically did, so I don't have to switch back and forth here all the time, I basically created this um, little list here using a workflow annotation. So I right click new workflow annotation and then just wrote it down. So let me just quickly delete that. Just wanted to show you. We also have talked about how to do annotations and comments in Nime before. So let's connect the next histogram to our data explorer nodes. Once again, we go into the node repository and I'll show you different ways how to do this um, during this live stream. So we select have data se the explorer selected. You can see it from that small um, black border around it and we just double click histogram and if we hold shift and control and the up arrow I can move these nodes and as you can see maybe that's very important to know you can more often than not you can connect more than one node to an output part so in this regard we want to create the next one for live what was it liveliness Liveness. I'm sorry. Where is it? Liveness. Here. All right. Occurrence count and the binning we want to have as before, I would say 10 bins. Label it. Histogram for liveness. And we just want to make sure it looks the same. So every time I mention a column, I bold it here. And we just um, shift F10, execute and open views. So it builds the histogram. You see it takes a moment. That's the histogram for liveness. Interesting, interesting. Okay. One done. 11 more to come. Next one is for valence. And what we do now is control C, control V and basically we take over all the settings if we do that copy paste we just connect it to the data explorer and of course we have to select a different um, histogram column but everything else like fixed number of bins 10 has been um, copied over here so next one is instrumentalness. We just say control V because we still have that in our yeah, folder if you want. Connect it. Give it the right comment. Next one is um, not valence, but in 
to mental mess. Bold it again. All right. Instrumentalness. Everything else is the same. All right. And we just do some more of. Oh, let me just show you one thing. Let's assume these were a little bit off, like this. If you are a little bit OCD like me, if you want to have things in order, look at this neat little button here. This aligns them perfectly. All right, and it auto layouts them as well. But that's maybe a little bit to not not good enough for me i would say so yeah like this let me put this one up all right next one then will be for danceability once again copy paste let's just put it here label it danceability and we look at the histograms once we have built them all. You can, for example, if you don't like how this arrow is or this, this line, this connection is shaped, you just click it once and then you take this little handle here and you can basically um, remove it like this. Um, yeah, depends a little bit on what you want to do. Um, so let's just set this for danceability. Okay, um, let's proceed. Next one will be tempo. And I will not adjust the connection lines here anymore for the sake of time. All right. Next one will be, and we, you see we connect them all to the data explorer, right? This one will be energy. All right, control V for the next one. It's a little bit of a repetitive task, isn't it? But um, at least you see how we can do this. And, and if I saw it correctly, tomorrow's um, task is to build kind of a dashboard. So that will be interesting. Have I set this up to speechiness? No, I haven't. So, okay. It always, as you can see, it always keeps the options here we have set in the first one fixed number of bins 10. We could, um, if you want to set that to a different number, we have to do it individually per node. All right, next one. This one is then for, we had um, tempo, we had speechiness. Did we have, oh, this one was energy, right? Yes, ah, so you see, energy, tempo, energy, speechiness. Now is acousticness. Uh, acousticness. Is it? Did I spell that right? All right. Set it to acousticness. Okay. Control V. Put it here. Next one is for popularity. Connect it to the Data Explorer. And if this all looks a little bit like a mess for you, we will clean this up with tomorrow's task, I promise. So make sure you hit like and subscribe um, if you don't want to miss out on tomorrow's live stream. But let's just finish today's task. So let's just use the outline here, connecting it. We don't, we want um, key. I guess two more. Loudness. And control V, control C, the final one, let's put it here, will be duration. Duration in milliseconds. All right, and just duration. 
We just need to make sure we label them. That one was key. And that one was loudness. So let me show you. Now we have quite a lot of nodes that have not been executed. We have this one and this one who have been executed and of course the previous ones. But let me just quickly show you how you can execute all executable nodes as one. This little icon here, this double green arrow, Shift F7 is your front. Execute all executable nodes. So I just press it. It will take a moment. You see it creates the histograms all at the same time. And then we can have a look at a few of them. So as I do not see anyone in the chat right now, I decide for myself basically at the which ones we look. We might have a look at popularity. We might have a look at duration and we might have a look at danceability. All right, everything is done. So popularity, right click, interactive view, histogram view. Ah, okay, interesting. So if popularity is a key from zero to 100, the majority of things like a, what is that, a, quarter, a fourth or a fifth is in a very low popularity range. And that would be interesting to see. Is that because people just didn't vote on it? And it's um, basically some, some kind of logic that applied zero or one or something like this to it? We will see in the data set later on. Popularity, what else did we see? We said um, popularity, I guess duration was the one we wanted to look at. Oh, look. That is also interesting. Hmm. It's like the majority of these songs is in the range of 284, 284 seconds. What is that? At six minutes? Is that correct? Hmm. We will see. We will see later on throughout this um, live stream challenge. And finally, we wanted to have a look at the danceability. Let's see how danceable these songs are. Oh, look, that's nice. So, a lot of danceable songs, right? So, that's basically it for today's live stream. We created um, 12 more of these histograms. And in tomorrow's task, as I said before, we will have a look about what a meta node and the component is, and we will create a component with all the histogram nodes, execute, and open its composite view. And what that basically does, I have already an idea how I'm going to do that. What that basically, do, basically does is it will create us a little histogram dashboard. So, if you don't want to miss out on this, and if you want to support the channel and support me in making more of these videos, make sure you leave a comment down below or hit like and subscribe. Very easy click of a button. So I see you tomorrow when we continue our journey on using and doing histograms in I'm. See you tomorrow and bye bye.